Come on in. Welcome to Opening the Door to Diabetes. So for this segment, we're going to review uh, blood glucose monitoring uh, with uh, Nelson. And um, just to give you a flair for uh, the importance of blood glucose monitoring, uh, how to do it, and how to report it. Hi, I'm Nelson, and uh, I'm going to be learning how to test my blood sugar. So hopefully while I learn how to do that, I can show you and you can learn as well. So Nelson's recently been diagnosed with diabetes and he's embarking on diabetes education. Um, and one of the first stops on that trip is to learn how to measure your blood sugar. So the first thing you have to do before you test your blood is to wash your hands. You wash your hands for two reasons, of course for cleanliness, but as well to get any bit of glucose off your fingertips which might give you a false high reading. So Nelson, one of the first things you do is to learn how to use one of these pokers. There are a whole bunch of different types of lancets. This is just happens to be one we have in the clinic. Uh, you load it and then you put on a bridge and in order to get a blood sample you press the blue button. You usually uh, uh, take the sample on the side of your uh, digit so that it isn't as uh, painful. Uh, I'm a firm believer in just get on with it. So Nelson, once you've got a uh, sample of blood, we'll put it into the meter and we'll find out what your blood sugar is. All right, so um, I'm gonna follow what Dr. Tilsley asked me and put my finger. So this is the stage where most people get anxious because they're getting a little finger prick. However, these lancets are adjustable so you can minimize the pain, still get a good blood sample and a good blood test. So that number came back as uh, 8.5, which uh, is slightly elevated, but um, the normal blood sugars should be between about 3.5 and 5.5, so it's slightly elevated, but it's really not too bad. So why do I need to test my blood sugars? Well, you have to test your blood sugars because you need to know where you are as far as your diabetes treatment is concerned. So you will be starting on some medications uh, which are going to affect uh, your blood sugar at certain times of the day. So we need to know at those key times, generally speaking, before meals, breakfast, lunch and supper, and before bedtime, what your blood sugars are so that we can dose your medication according to the time that it works in order to get to the best effect. Do I have to do this every meal? Now, uh, many proponents suggest measuring after meals is quite important. At your stage, I think start, starting testing before meals uh, is what the way we should go. Number one, it's easier to remember. All right. Now, blood testing in itself isn't the be-all to end-all. It's what you do with the number that's really important. So you've got to understand what the number means and also your healthcare professional should see those numbers periodically so as to provide you with the best possible advice. So we actually have a system set up so that you can test your blood and report very easily on the internet to your doctor and so that you can re receive almost instant feedback as to how you're doing and as to, what, as to whether your medications need to be changed. And the reason that we do it is uh, because it's more effective in treating diabetes than just testing your blood in isolation. But how do you measure how, it, how well it works? Well, we found after a six-month trial that the people on the continuous blood glucose monitors didn't have better blood sugars than the people who reported on the internet. Oh. And uh, we now have over 1,500 people like you who report on the internet. And we reported on the first thousand people uh, to do uh, internet blood glucose reporting and we showed the more often you reported the lower your hemoglobin A1C was. Remember the hemoglobin A1C is that measurement of your blood which assesses your diabetes control. Uh, I'm starting to understand. I should begin by testing my blood sugars and then sending reports to you. That's right. Gotcha. <laughs> well good job Nelson. That was your first blood test. Uh, you did it perfectly and um, there should be no problem with you getting your blood sugars tested on a regular basis and the next uh, step will be in learning how to report to me using the internet. All right, sounds good. I'll see you online. More information about what type of meter you may want to purchase is available through your pharmacist who so can go over that in some detail.